Joining us right now, first on CNBC, are both of these gentlemen, Mark Bertolini and Mario Slasher. And gentlemen, thank you. Welcome to both of you. Um, you. Thank you for the invite. All right, this is, uh, this is pretty big news uh, in terms of what it means for Oscar health. Uh, Mario, let me ask you first, why did you decide to turn over the reins to, uh, to a veteran from the industry? If Mark comes calling, I think you got to pick up the phone, you know, as anybody in health insurance. So um, Oscar's now 6.8 billion revenues last year and a 47 net promoter score. It's about three for the industry, right? That's a lot bigger and a lot faster than Josh and I, the co-founders, thought we'd ever get to in 10 years. Uh, and um, at the same time, our ambition has always been have a profound impact on healthcare. And uh, that scale we need for that is still a lot bigger. When we met Mark about 18 months ago, started working together with him uh, in an advisory capacity, uh, we realized he's seen that scale and his ambitions are even bigger than our ambitions. And so it made a lot of logical sense to bring him on board. Very grateful that he decided to join. Uh, for me personally, uh, I am a computer scientist by training and I think also built some of the coolest technology in healthcare. Uh, AI is tearing up that playbook at the moment. And for me to go back and focus on engineering products uh, is a dream come true as much as uh, I think it is for Mark to run a health insurance company. Yes. The, the market obviously likes that the stock's up about 14% this morning, but that comes after a big decline in the stock, down by over 75%. Uh, I mean, I think we're looking at a market capitalization now of about $650 million before you see this bounce today. Uh, Mark, you've got your work cut out for you. This mm -hmm. is an industry you know well, but what's your first plan of attack? Well, the first plan of attack is to deliver on profitability in 2023 for the insurance company, 2024 for the full company. Um, that gives us the headroom to start focusing on the tech stack. Um, the reason that, that our MPS is 47 now, which is way above everybody else in the industry, they're at near zero or less than zero, um, allows us to do something very different in healthcare, and that is to connect consumers directly to the provider networks instead of having to go through insurance. Um, and so our idea is to empower the physician groups and the health systems around the country with our technology once we have the company fully profitable and we can make the investments necessary to create a tech stack in the cloud that is SaaS enabled and allows us to move ahead. Let's talk one step at a time. How do you make the company profitable? What's been wrong to this point? Well, I think it's been... Um, the insurance company. Yeah, say. the insurance company. Um, there have been a lot of travels we've been through in the last 18 months and a lot of discussions about how we think about um, running the economics of an insurance company. And I think we've learned together how to make Oscar profitable. And I think we're going to prove that this year. It was part of that pulling out of Arkansas and Colorado. Why did that happen? Small part of it, yeah. I mean, we, um, the medical loss ratio last year was 85%. And it's, it was down three and a half points compared to the prior year, even though we doubled. And you typically can choose one of those two things in health insurance, right? You can not grow a lot and also reduce medical costs. The fact that we were able to do that, I think is a fantastic precursor towards what still has to happen for us to be profitable this year in the insurance business, which we've guided towards. Yep. And this morning, we reaffirmed guidance on that. And then next year, total company profitability takes a tiny step more of uh, yep. a bit more growth, a bit more medical cost improvements. And, and the issue is really focus. You know, let's get the insurance company right. Let's not get too far ahead on our, on our, on our own program on that, on Plus Oscar, which is the tech stack. Let's get that right and then move the next step. Which makes sense. My, my question becomes doing something to... It's kind of the holy grail to have technology actually work to make it easier for consumers, to make it easier for doctors and hospitals to all connect. But it's an expensive proposition. You need a lot of money to be able to do that. Yes. And we are now talking about an outside era that's probably much more complicated just because of what's happening with the Fed raising rates, yes. with the banking crisis that's taking place, and the idea that there's going to be a credit contraction. What do you do about that, Mark? Well, I think, number one, Oscar's well prepared for a recession or stagflation, whatever we should see. And there's a lot of arguments about both. Um, we are a place where people can come and get taken care of. Um, secondly, I think once we prove out the tech stack, and we've, we're doing that now with our own business, I think we're going to find the investment necessary to make that happen. But we've got to get the company right. It's got to be profitable. We've got to be growing um, in a way that makes people want to invest in our company and move forward. And so that's, it's not going to, we're not going to do it out of just cash flow. We're going to have to bring out investors. 